Is there a light difference uh, when you use the uh, EC200, this cord, with the AD200 uh, Godox flash or Flashpoint flash if you bought it in the US? Um, I'm using the Godox. The Godox soft box, maybe? What? whatever it's called, umbrella box, um, and the bare bulb uh, flash head. So um, let's see. Let's bring the camera over. Oh, yes, let's bring the camera over to here. Okay. Let's go here. I should probably mark out a meter, but as long as I stand in the same spot, as long as my knees touch the table and I hold it to the same spot, if I hold it to my nose, it's going to be the same. So I've got a hundred ISO. Why is this? I haven't used this in so long, so. Okay, it was a bit glitchy before. Okay, I've got a 100 ISO and my shutter is 125th, doesn't really matter for the shutter, but 100 ISO, and let's do a test. Transmitter, oh. it's on one-to-one -one power, so it's on full power, manual, I better make sure that, yeah, that's off, the sync is off, high-speed sync. So one-to-one, -one and it's ready, so zero there to my nose and okay I didn't get a reading come on okay um, 8.7 let's do a few more to be sure we can average out the results if we need to okay I've cleared it oh I shouldn't look at the flash 8.6 8 8.7 you see that oh there's a white curtain behind it so it's hard to see 8.7 Eight point seven. Eight point seven. Okay. Cool. Now we need to get. We need to make sure the flash is there, but it's gonna. It looks like if I mount it there, it's gonna be very similar. The angle might be slightly different, but. Okay, let's try it. Um, hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Filming on the Insta360 X3. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, 1 to 1 and the T0.1, the flash duration was 1, 200, uh, 1 over 220, which is Actually, that's quite fast for one-to-one. -one. Um, for some things, it's not super fast, but that can that should be able to stop a lot of movement. Anyway, that's kind of. Ooh, I should disconnect this. Okay. Um, I should have actually put that direct, like more 90 degrees, but anyway, I'll still test it. So now I'm going to put that on the direct, directly on it, and I'm going to mount it to, let's say, that head, or uh, that uh, thread there.
Um, and because it's actually moved that much closer, I'm going to move it that, that distance back. Okay, cool. And now let's, um, let's do a light read. I better turn it on. Okay. One to one. Reset this. One to one. To one. Let's go. Press the wrong button. Oh. Okay. And it is. Oh. 8.8. .8. Um, so I lost a tenth of a stop. Let's average it out and see. Oh, okay. Here, 8.9. Oh, I've got a uh, the white curtain. You can't see it, but yeah, it's eight point nine. Let's go in again. Eight point nine, so maybe a third of a stop at most, maybe point zero two of a stop. Um, that's quite good. <coughs> I'm happy with that. That, that um, that makes this flash a lot more usable. Now you can see what I mean. Like it's a, it's very top heavy. This thing is actually quite heavy. Um, but from bring it to bring it from all the way up here, which is a little dangerous. All the way down here, it's so much safer. This bit's not going to hit anyone if it does fall, um, because it's going to be here. If it topples, the weight's going to be here, and it's going to be so much safer. And maybe you can save yourself an assistant, or you should probably still get an assistant if the shoot, um, yeah, can have the budget for it or whatever. But yeah, that's the test over. So. Difference is 0 0.02 of a stop, maybe 0 0.03, a third of a stop difference, but um, so much better, uh, so much more usable, so much safer. Uh, I might buy myself another one because I've currently got 280 200s, and I might get myself a third one. I might get myself the 80. 200 Mark II because they got a new generation, well, uh, which they call the Pro, um, or one of the other lights by Godox. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Oh, don't get the um, AD100 because it's got a magenta cast, and if you use it with these lights, the color balance is all wrong, which is doesn't make sense. Like, why would like they're a professional flash company or semi-professional flash company? But the flashes can't be used together, or that hundred, which is a nice form factor, small and light and good for events and stuff. Um, you can't use it as an extra light in a studio setup because the color doesn't match unless you gel it and fix it with a gel or something. Um, you can search Google because that's what some guy did, but you know what they're going to do? They're going to release the, the Pro model or the Mark II or the second generation and then fix it, and then that's when I'll buy one. I'd like to review it. But yeah, this is going on for a while, so that's the end of part B, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my long-winded practice video um, that I did of unboxing and first look and test. Okay, bye.